Hey everybody, Mark here, and I want to show you how to make these DIY masks. These masks use furnace filters and this quick uh, DIY face mask frame that only takes 15 minutes to print, and they are super easy to make. So let's get started. Things you'll need. The DIY forming tool, the male and female tool. Now this takes a couple hours to print, uh, but you can reuse it every time. You will need a DIY face mask frame. Uh, link below of where to download uh, all of these uh, parts at. Uh, but this frame is very quick to print and it is very flexible so you can uh, adjust it to the user. Uh, there are three sizes, uh, large, medium, and small. And the last item is your filter media. Now this is a air filter. Uh, that you can buy at your local store. Uh, this is a MER 13 air filter. Uh, if you can find better, get it. Uh, but right now, the shortage, this is the best that I can uh, find. This is not a replacement for a N95 mask, uh, but this is better than nothing uh, if you're going out in public. So, first thing to do is remove the mail tool and then snap, you'll see, snap the frame with the curve size going out in the tool. Now, taking your filter media, um, and this filter media uh, can either be, can either take the shape of the cutting tool uh, that you can find online, or you can just cut out a large piece. You will trim it up later, so you don't have to cut uh, these angles into the filter media, but, Place the filter media right on top, and then with a the forming tool, push it down. And you can see I'm not going fast pushing it down because I want it to, to fit nicely. And if you take a little bit of time here, you can make it fit really, really good and be a straight mask. And you can see there's a little bit of overhang everywhere. I have a little less here, so let's pull that back out. And the next thing is to get a hot glue gun. Uh, I see online some people are using coal or low temperature or high temperature. This is actually a high temperature hot glue gun uh, with a fine tip. And all you have to do is apply hot glue on the frame. There we go. And you can see I'm not the best hot gluer. And I'll apply it on one side, form it over. Let's go to the bottom. Oh, another another great thing, uh, design, design intent. Oh, you can see that fell right out. Uh, but quick design intent. Uh, the frame overhangs the tool, and that's designed uh, while, while you're putting the hot glue down, uh, that it's harder for the tool and the frame to get stuck together. So let's readjust this side real quick. And we're going to pull this back. We'll apply hot glue from here to here. fast and easy. Fold this back over. There we go. A couple seconds. We'll go to the other side. You can see how easy and fast this is to do. We'll apply some right here. There we go. Roll it over. Pull it back out of the way. Apply it here, going up and around the nose. Perfect. There we go. And coming back around this side, we'll go around the nose and to the side of the cheek right here. Boom. Fold it back over. Take a second, and that's it. Now you've glued the filter material uh, to the frame. You can remove the mail tool, pop the frame out of the tool, and there it is. Uh, it's optional to trim this back, but I like to. So getting a pair of scissors or an X-Acto knife, 
you can go and trim this material back. Trim the material back around the edges. It's, it's even easier if you want to pull it back and get out of the way. It's a little bit hard for me. I'm left-handed. I live in a right-hand world. So <laughs> but let's cut around here. And there we go. There's a mask. It took a couple minutes, and now you have a great mask that you can wear uh, and use. So, guys, if you oh, and you can see I didn't do the best job here, but you can come right back and apply a little more hot glue and fold it right over. Uh, so, everybody, if you have any questions or comments, please leave them below. Um, I will attach uh, the link of where to get the tooling and to put the frames out and everybody stay safe. Mark out.